Design your niche content system for maximum conversion. Keep in mind that, at this point, your niche brand marketing system has three structural parts. Your website, social media accounts, and your mailing list. The problem is, if you stop here, you're going to fail. Why? You built a container, but you still have to come up with the content of that container. This is where creating a niche content system comes in. It has to be a system. It can't just be stuff that you come up with randomly to fill out your website. That's not going to work. Key Content Strategies Niche Specificity Builds Authority The first content strategy you're going to focus on is niche specificity. Everything that you include in your blog or your website has to be directly related to your target niche. The more specific you are, the more authoritative and credible your online property becomes. Remember the people who visit your website are not there to screw around. They're not doing it for their health. It's not like they have nothing else better to do. They're there because they have certain needs. It's your job to meet those needs. Otherwise, you don't develop a brand. Adapt your content to target different platforms. It's really important to make sure that you don't just produce one type of content. When you create content, it must be converted into a format that can be promoted on different platforms. For example, if you have a blog, you can promote the blog's link on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. However, don't stop with blog posts. You can convert that post into a video. Maybe it's a whiteboard with some sort of voiceover and animation. Once you've converted your content into video, you then access Vimeo or YouTube. You can get traffic from those places. You can also look at your content and strip it into small questions and promote on places like Quora. I hope you get the point. You have to start with content that is directly related to your niche, but create different formats of that content so as to widen the places you can distribute that content on. Maximize dwell time. Another key content strategy that you have to totally wrap your mind around involves the concept of dwell time. When you get people to visit your website, try to get them to stay for as long as possible. In other words, try to get them to dwell on your content. How come? First of all, Google's algorithm rewards websites that hold people for a longer period of time. If, for example, your website shows up in search results and a person clicks and takes a long time to get back to Google, Google's algorithm is set up to reward your site and punish websites that people bounce out of immediately. In Google's estimation, the searcher found what he or she was looking for on your website. That's why they stuck around for quite some time. The second advantage of dwell time involves branding. The more you get people to click page after page of your website, the more you brand them. The more you establish in their minds your authority and credibility. This leads to increasing levels of trust. You might even convince them to come back or, better yet, refer other people to your site. Finally, when you maximize dwell time, you walk the reader through the KLT process. This process is generally associated with sales. To get somebody to buy something from you, you must get them to trust you. However, for that trust to happen, they must like the option that you put on the table. Unfortunately, for that to happen, something else has to happen first. They must first feel that you know enough about their problem for them to like the solution that you're pushing. This is the KLT process. Know, like, trust. When you interlink your content in a very thorough way, you basically get the person to cycle through the different pieces of content you have. This gives them a good understanding of your expertise. This builds up enough trust in their minds that there's a good likelihood they may end up on a page that contains ads that would convert them. You increase the chances of this happening if you maximize dwell time. Website strategy. When it comes to housing your content, your website must be optimized for two things, ad placement and text link placement. Ad placement means that your ads must look like a form of content. Their power does not arise from the fact that they disrupt the experience of your viewer. Instead, your ad must add value to the content that the user is consuming. This can increase the likelihood of conversion. Also, your content must be optimized for text link placement. These are text ads. These ads look similar enough to your content. If you pull this off right, the ad would act as a form of content. It isn't intrusive. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, and it actually enhances the value of the content the reader is viewing. Social media accounts. Believe it or not, the social media accounts that you set up outside your blog are part of your niche content system. How come? Well, these accounts are for you to use to distribute your blog or website's content on different social media platforms. Accordingly, each of these accounts must reflect your brand's graphics. This way, when you're sharing content from your main site, 
There's no major disconnect between the social media account sharing of that content and what users will see when they click through to the link that you are sharing. Mailing list. Your mailing list must be designed from day one to work hand in hand with your main website to do one thing and one thing alone, maximize opt-ins. This is the job of your mailing list. It must be designed from the ground up to vacuum, suck up, or attract as many signups as possible. That is its job. However, this is not going to happen in isolation. This can only take place when the rest of the website is also optimized. One way to put this is you shouldn't look at designing your mailing list element in your website as an afterthought. You must design it on day one.